India has embarked on a significant initiative to modernize its fleet of Russian origin T-72 tanks, with the aim of exporting the refurbished combat vehicles to international markets. The target audience for these upgraded tanks includes potential buyers in Africa, the Middle East and East Asia, regions where demand for cost-effective, reliable armored solutions remains strong. This modernization effort signifies a strategic collaboration between Indian and Russian defense industries, extending the lifespan and capabilities of the T-72 while positioning India as a rising player in the global defense market. The T-72 tanks have been a mainstay of the Indian Army's armored forces since their introduction in the 1970s. Today, India operates approximately 2,500 of these tanks, making them the most numerous in its inventory. Given their durability and proven battlefield performance, the Indian Army sees an opportunity to refurbish and export these tanks to international clients, particularly as newer models like the T-90 and the indigenous Arjun tank gradually replace the T-72 within India's military. The modernization process will be carried out in India, with close cooperation between Indian and Russian technical experts. The heavy vehicles factory in Avadi near Chennai, which began producing T-72 tanks in the 1980s and has since upgraded to producing T-90s, will serve as the base for this effort. The focus will be on improving the tank's combat effectiveness, extending their operational lifespan, and customizing features for the specific needs of international buyers. Countries in Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia have shown significant interest in acquiring T-72 tanks as they look for cost-effective, battle-proven armored vehicles. Many of these nations are in need of reliable tanks but may not have the budget for purchasing newer models or maintaining large-scale modernization programs. For them, India's refurbished T-72s present a pragmatic solution, providing armored firepower without the high costs associated with more modern Western or Russian alternatives. The T-72 has earned its reputation as a sturdy, capable tank, equipped with a 125mm main gun, anti-aircraft gun, and a machine gun. It boasts a top speed of 60 km per hour on roads and 35 km per hour off-road, and can ford rivers up to 1.2 meters deep. These specifications make it suitable for a range of battlefield environments, from urban combat to desert warfare, and even mountainous terrains. India itself deployed T-72 tanks in the high-altitude region of Ladakh during 2020 tensions with China, demonstrating the vehicle's adaptability to challenging conditions. India's decision to modernize and export the T-72 tanks highlights the growing defense partnership between India and Russia. The long-standing defense relationship between the two nations has resulted in substantial arms production in India, dating back to when India initially purchased 500 T-72 tanks from the Soviet Union before beginning local production in the 1980s. The modernization of the T-72 for export not only extends the lifespan of the tank but also provides a platform for both countries to further their strategic interests. As India seeks to enhance its role in the global defense industry, this collaboration strengthens ties with Russia, ensuring access to expertise and technologies that could be instrumental in future defense projects. While the modernization of the T-72 is the immediate focus, India is also exploring the possibility of upgrading other Russian-origin military vehicles for export. The BMP-2 Infantry Fighting Vehicle, another staple of India's mechanized forces, is slated for future upgrades and could similarly find a market in nations looking for affordable, battle-proven platforms. For India, this initiative is part of a broader effort to revamp its military capabilities, phase out aging equipment, and generate revenue through defense exports. By offering refurbished armored vehicles, India can provide value to countries in need of affordable military solutions, while reinforcing its domestic defense manufacturing base. If the T-72 modernization proves successful, it could open the door for India to become a larger player in the global defense market. By offering refurbished, cost-effective armored vehicles like the T-72 and potentially the BMP-2, India can tap into markets where budget constraints often prevent countries from acquiring more advanced systems. India's ability to export surplus military equipment also aligns with its broader strategic goals of expanding its influence in the global defense sector, particularly in emerging markets. The collaboration between Indian and Russian defense industries will play a key role in ensuring the success of these initiatives, marking a new chapter in India's defense modernization and export ambitions. This modernization project, therefore, represents not just an effort to refurbish aging military hardware, but also a strategic push to position India as a credible supplier of defense solutions to countries in need of reliable, affordable and effective combat vehicles.